This video is an explanation about the Panzer III variants. We faced a lot of confusion before making the Panzer III German technology and history. So here we are explaining the differences between the Panzer variants as brief and fast as possible. First of all, what does Ost mean? Ost in German tanks is the short form for Ostfahren, which means model or version. Now, let's see what the differences are between these variants. The Panzer III Ost A has five massive road wheels with coil spring suspension and two track return rollers on each side. The Panzer III Ost B has eight smaller road wheels with leaf spring suspension in two groups and three track return rollers on each side. Each side of the Panzer III Ost C and D has eight road wheels with three groups of leaf spring suspension and three track return rollers. The leaf spring suspension design differed between the Ost C and Ost D. The Ost E was the first mass-produced Panzer III tank, and it was remarkably identical to the Ost F and Ost G, which differed only in minor details. Torsion bar suspension with six road wheels on independent swing axles was used on the Panzer III Ost E. Above the road wheels were three track return rollers. The bottom line is all E, F, and G model have the same wheel base. And that is how you spot the differences between the mentioned variants. Now, let's look at the H, J, L, M, and N variants. Wider wheels and tracks were introduced as a result of the weight increase. New front drive wheels and rear idler wheels, as well as a new shock absorber were installed. H tanks were outfitted with the Ost G shock absorbers and wheels. All these variants have the same wheelbase. Identifying the Panzer variants through the turret is very tricky, as some maintain the same design, while other parts of the tank would be upgraded like the armament, wheelbase, wheels, and suspensions. Now, let's look at the armament used in these variants. Variants A through G was fitted with a 3.7 cm KWK 36L 4-5, meaning fighting vehicle cannon. KWK is an abbreviation for Camp Feigen. This armament proved adequate during their battles in 1939 and 1940. The subsequent OSFEF to OSJ were upgraded with the 5 cm KWK 38L42. And the OSJ 1 to M was fitted with the longer 5 cm KWK 39L60 in response to increasingly superior equipped and armored opponents. And lastly, the Osven variant was fitted with the 7.5 cm KWK 37L24. For the secondary armament, all the variants were fitted with a 7.92 mm MG 34 machine gun. Although this is one of the methods to differentiate the differences between the various variants, the Germans would always upgrade the turrets as well as the armaments. That means the 3.7 cm KWK 36L45 gun would be upgraded to the 5 cm KWK 38L42 and on and on. Watch out for this space, the Soviet Union KV-1 tank as well as the Panzer IV tank. Till then see you in our next video.